To take the derivative of the square root of x, we simply need to use the power rule. Of course, we need to know that the square root of x is the same as x to the power of 1 half, and in general, the nth root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 over n. So we can always use the power rule to take the derivative of these types of functions. Then to take the derivative of the square root of x, which is x to the one half power, we just bring the power of one half down as a factor and then reduce the power by one. So now the power is one half minus one. One half minus one, of course, is just one half minus two halves and one half minus two halves is negative one half. So it's one half times x to the negative half. That is the derivative of the square root of x. You could leave it like that, though sometimes it's preferable to write the negative exponent as a positive exponent. In that way, we could rewrite this as one over two times x to the positive half, now that we're down in the denominator. We could, of course, also rewrite that power of one half as a square root if we wanted to, giving us this expression. So that's the derivative of the square root of x. Notice how when we take the derivative of root x, we actually get a root x in the denominator. That can be useful for some u substitution integrals if you know what that is. If not, don't worry about it. Check out my Calculus One exercises playlist in the description for more, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, 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 uh,